What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the quick list of the top five best cameos in Mortal Kombat 1. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into these cameos. First, let me set my stage for you. So the reason why these cameos make my top five best cameos is because of what tools they bring to the table, how viable they are for most of the roster and what they can actually do for you as a fighter when it comes to combo extension, utility, and overall just viability. In no particular order, my first choice is gonna be Serena. And the biggest reason why is she's got two main utilities. She's of course got the awesome combo extension with her back cameo that any character can use twice. She offers great combo extension and she also offers a nice fast projectile for characters that might not have one or just need help in their zoning game. But the biggest reason why I love Serena so much is because of her default cameo move where she comes out here, places that circle on the floor, and this completely depletes your opponent's meter, negating their chance to do a breaker or an armored wake up or enhance their moves. I mean, you're not gonna deplete like all three bars, but it just helps keep it under control. It just gives you that advantage that you might need in a fight. It just takes away their tools and I love that. Plus, almost any character can benefit from Serena's moveset, and that's huge when it comes to a cameo fighter. Next on my list is going to be Kung Lao as a cameo for multiple reasons. He's got some awesome tools that almost every character can benefit from, including a low projectile? That's huge, because a lot of characters first need a projectile, and then there are some characters that need a low, and that move alone fills both of those voids. Plus, you can hold that low and then go for the overhead, basically creating a low overhead mix-up that's super hard to block as the opponent. So we get a projectile, and that's great. Then we also get a teleport as well for mobility reasons. Now, to be fair, Raiden here doesn't really need a teleport, so Kung Lao might not be the best option for Raiden, but for the rest of the cast, yeah, having that mobility to have a teleport is just, it's almost essential in a lot of fights, especially because a lot of them can get so fast-paced. Your opponent might try to zone you out, and having the teleport to get back in their face is just almost crucial. Plus, we get awesome combo extension. Again, I just think that every character in Mortal Kombat can really benefit from the tools that Kung Lao as a cameo brings to the table. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Dude, people are not using Scorpion as a cameo enough, and you absolutely should be. Every single tool that he offers as a cameo is huge. First of all, his neutral cameo move, the fire breath here, allows us to combo extend off of specials that we normally couldn't of, and that applies to almost all the characters. Raiden, for example, our down forward two here, our electric grab, we can't combo off of that unless we enhance it, but using Scorpion, yeah, now we can. If you really want to, you can use that twice in a combo to really extend it like this. You get the idea. You can just use it a lot of time, which is super nice for a lot of combo extension that again, almost any character can really utilize. Plus our back cameo is an armored full screen pullback, letting you decide the space of the match and creating that full screen spacing that a lot of characters really benefit from, especially characters like maybe Shang Tsung or Rain. Characters that want to be away from your opponent for a little bit more than just, you know, one second. They want that chance to breathe, to do their abilities, to do their setups. And that tool is great. And if your opponent's really pressuring you, just pull back full screen. Okay, now reset. Now, how do we go about this match? And not only that, but yes, he offers another tool and that's the forward cameo, the overhead hit. Not only is it an overhead, but it's also a combo extender as well, because if it hits, you get a free combo off. So what I like to do is go for the low hits, then throw in the overhead cameo, really mix it up, and then when it hits, get a combo off of it. Mix up game, full screen reset, air combo extension. I mean, what more do you want, dude? The, the, the Scorpion's cameo is insane. Frost is so underutilized, man, and she's a great cameo. She has one of the best combo extensions, which is low freeze move with the forward cameo. Okay, just free combo, let's go. Not only that, but that freeze move is actually a full screen low freeze, so it's low hitting. So if your opponent's trying to zone you out or something, throw that out there, freeze them, and then you get a free combo off. Not only that, but I love Frost's back cameo, the orb here for pressure setting. It's a bit slow on startup, but let's say you do on like a hard knockdown, okay? Then you throw off Frost's orb here. Now they have to worry about you and the orb. If the orb hits, you get a free combo off. The orb is just really good for pressure, and that really benefits for other characters that need that pressure, need that space, need that time to do their abilities, to do their setups. If you're Lee Mei, you might throw a lantern out with that orb, so now the opponent's gotta worry about the orb, the lantern, and you. It's just got multiple uses that like no one's using. I'm like, yo, use that orb so much more often. I think Frost and Sub-Zero as a cameo can kinda go hand in hand, cause they kinda do the same thing, where you can use the forward cameo to freeze your opponent. But the biggest difference with Sub-Zero, it's not really a low, so it's actually useful in air combos, like if your opponent's falling from the air, and it can be used for an anti-air as well. If your opponent is trying to jump in on you and you wanna go for the anti-air, just freeze them in the air. Or just freeze him in a combo. And then he does bring a pretty unique tool to the table with his normal cameo move. 
he makes you projectile invulnerable, which is huge. Because a lot of characters like to use cameos with projectiles or use projectiles themselves. And this allows you to do abilities or set up a combo without the fear of being zoned out. And that can be huge depending on who you're fighting. So though they're different, I just think that Frost and Sub-Zero are kind of the same and they do a lot of the same stuff and they're both very useful. I know I'm gonna get absolutely torched in the comments if I don't bring up Cyrax as one of the best cameos. And he's got some really good tools, man. You can like combo, extend with the helicopter. You can create pressure with the forward cameo move and make your opponent not want to approach you. You get a free combo if you use the back cameo net and it lands. Just a free combo there. But the biggest reason why people use Cyrex as a cameo and why he's really good is his standard cameo held. That move actually you can do that after certain combos of your character that aren't really safe. And by safe, I mean you're going to get punished, especially if your opponent's blocking. So if you see your opponent blocking this, you're like, oh man, if, if because they're blocking this, once I finish the combo, I'm going to get punished. Just use Cyrax as a cameo. And now you can block before your opponent can actually approach you. That's making you safe on a lot of moves. You know, normal combo string, specials. You see this a lot with like Baraka, Melina, characters like that. But that's one of the biggest reasons, man. Because in, in a game like that, the combo extension, that's great. But be able to make yourself safe off of moves you normally wouldn't be safe off of. You're not getting more damage, but now you're not getting, you know, completely punished with a 500 damage combo. So yes, yeah, Hyrax is really good, dude. Though that is my top five best cameos, in my opinion. And an honorable mention that I have is actually Sonya Blade as a cameo because her tools benefit a lot of characters she's the only cameo that really allows you to air combo extend and a lot of characters like reiko shao sindel they need that help with air combo extension so that way you can fall to the ground before your opponent does and continue the combo on the ground and sonya allows you to do so like this Not only that, but she gives you a projectile, which a lot of characters either, again, they need a projectile like Shao. Smoke doesn't have a really good projectile. Do you see what I'm getting at? She offers that projectile that a lot of characters might need. And then of course we get combo extension as well. Most of the roster in Mortal Kombat 1 can really benefit from the tools that Cameo Sonya brings. So she's definitely an honorable mention. Like I would see why you might put her in your top five. These are just my top five best cameos, guys. Let me know down below who are your favorite and who is in your top five best cameos and why. Let me know down below. Subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.